Alex Ravel, thank you for joining me ahead of the Salford game on Saturday. Firstly, let's start with the news this week of your Manager of the Month nomination for March. Yeah, we're obviously really delighted with that. Um, I think that it's really nice that the players and the staff are all getting that recognition that I think that we deserve for the performances and the results that we've had. Um, it's nice to see people from the outside seeing what we're trying to do and and seeing the results. And, um, you know, it's, it's a nice... It's a nice thing to be nominated. Um, we'll see what happens. But um, it's great that it shows how far we've come as a football club. I think when you get recognised a month, it's, it's a positive uh, thing for the football club, for all of us. Um, so, yeah, really, really happy to be nominated. And um, But, you know, obviously we, we, we couldn't be kind of where we are without the players and the hard work that staff put in. So um, we'll see what happens. Does it make you wary of the curse if you were to win it? No, I, 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 to be honest with you, the um, no, the players, uh, they don't need to worry about that. I think that for us, it would just be really great for the football club because um, it would be a really positive moment for us all. Because I think, like I said earlier, it would, it would, it would show how far we've come and show the, 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 the hard work of the players and the staff gets rewarded from those looking from the outside and we all wanted to put the football club in a positive light from last year. And, and, and I really feel like we're doing that now, which is, um, which is really pleasing for, for everyone at the football club. Moving into April now, we started the month off with four points from a possible six over the Easter weekend, as well as extending the unbeaten run to 12 games now. Um, how does that reflect on the team's performances? Um, yeah, I, I think that um, the unbeaten run is, is, is great. For, for everyone, obviously, I think Monday we 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 finished the game, and yes, we're unbeaten, but you know we wanted to win. We wanted to win. It, it's great that um, we're on this unbeaten run. It, it really is. But we know there's too many focuses. We've got to turn these draws into wins. Um, Monday, I think we we should have won. I think that we had more clear cut chances than than, than Bradford. Um, again, at Oldham as well, we made it a sticky spell at the end of the game, having had 21 shots, you know, and, and some real goal scoring opportunities. So um, it's fantastic what the players have achieved. It really is. Um, but, we, you know, we all have, we all have uh, high expectations. We, we all move on and we all want to be as good as we can be. And we want to get to the next level. And in, in order for us all to do that, we have to turn those draws into wins. And, and then that, that, that unbeaten run then is, is wins rather than wins and draws. And um, that's when you find yourself then all of a sudden in those top six and, and challenging when you can, when, but we know that, that we know that's achievable. We know that that's maybe, you know, scoring more goals and, and we, we work on that, or that might be that we, you know, we've, we've kept some brilliant clean sheets this year. Um, so um, we know what we've got to work on. We know what we've got to do over the next six games. Um, to, like I said, to turn those, those draws into wins. Now, with the finish line in sight, we'll get six games to go. Um, those games against the sides who are pushing for the playoffs and pushing for motion are going to be all the more difficult now. Yeah, they are. But I think what it does do, it it will ask questions of the players. It will ask the questions of how far have we come as a team. Um, and and the players are for everything now. It's, it's contracts. It's, you know, for us as a football club, it's, how far do we want to go this year and, and, and how far and, and how much can we achieve from where we were? Um, you know, we're going to Salford on Saturday with full of confidence. You know, we want to go there and, and put on a performance for everyone to stand up and look at us and think, wow, they, they, you know, they really do mean business. Um, like probably our result at Tramere when we went there, people think stood up and, and, and looked and then obviously Forest Green at home. Um, so... We want to make sure that on Saturday evening, when we're on our way back from the game, that, that like I said, we've turned those draws into wins. We've, we've shown people what we're about um, at, at probably the, the biggest club in this league in terms of you know finances and, and, and players. So we want to go there and put a top performance. At the start of the season, Salford were considered one of the favourites to go up this season. Um, but recently they've been stumbling until their big winner get back for us green on Monday. Um, what do you make of Saturday's opponents? Yes, they're an excellent side. They've got they've got a really top manager in there at the minute. 
Um, I've met him several times and he's a real fantastic person to, to speak to about football and his knowledge. So they've picked, a, they've picked someone really, really kind of appropriate for the job. Um, and uh, obviously we know that the players they've, they've, they've picked are better than League Two. Um, it doesn't always mean that you're always going to win every game because talent um, doesn't always win you the games. It's the togetherness, the desire, the work rate, the you know how you come together, the collective as a team. So, um, and everyone sees probably this game as a cup final against them because they are they are renowned for being the biggest team. So, we have to make sure that we don't disappoint in that. That we have to make sure that we go there and you know ultimately these players and. You know, you want to be beating the best teams in this league. That's what we want to do. That's how you get recognition. And um, and we'll, like I said, we'll be working hard now to make sure that when we go on on Saturday that we 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 show the performance levels that we have done in the previous games. That the players show their desire and their togetherness to win a game of football. And and if we can do that, I'm sure we can go and get a positive result. Now we don't have the best record against Salford, having played them three times. Uh, losing three times without conceding. How are you planning on going about making sure that record changes come five o'clock Saturday? Well, I think even going back to the game at the start of the season, you know, we we conceded a, a goal within two minutes of the game starting and already you're on the back foot. And that was a time when they were obviously doing exceptionally well. You know, they, they were on a flyer from, you know, previous season, new players, and, and it was a tough game. Um, but we lost the game 1 0 to a mistake. I remember having a big chance before half time that potentially could have gone our way. So I've always said in this run that if the performance levels are high, the results will take care of themselves. And, you know, I think that Monday we, we was, was a tough game for us all after uh, Saturday, uh, Friday, sorry, at Oldham, the amount of effort that the players put in. Uh, Monday was always going to be tough, but. Our performance levels was high in the first 35 minutes and we should have been out of sight. So we have to make sure that we, we have those performance levels as high as we can do. And if we do that, then we'll make it very difficult for them. And, and, and hopefully the players can go and show, show them how good they are, because ultimately that's what we want to do. We want to put them on, on the pitch, knowing their jobs, knowing their roles. Um, and for them just to go and enjoy themselves and, and go and show how good they are. Finally, just a touch on team news. It seemed like Luke Norris was forced off of injury on Monday and we saw the return of TVC to the squad after international duty. Yeah, uh, Luke Norris hopefully will be fine. Uh, we're checking him, um, you know, this week. Um, you know, he's been a real big presence for us. So uh, it's important that he is with us. Uh, and TVC is great to have back. Obviously, he's put in some, you know, some really top performances this year. Um, and uh, he was obviously sat out there uh, watching, obviously on, on on Monday. But you know he's had 14 days away and in international, and you don't know what it does to you know in, in terms of the body and travelling. So um, I think it's you know it's good to have him back. He'll be working hard this week to make sure that that he gets his his place back because ultimately you've you know you've got two top professionals in front of him in terms of who have been playing in terms of Luke Prosser and Scott Cuthbert. Um, and, um, you know, TBC has got to fight hard to make sure that he's in that team. And uh, that's the, what we've created at the football club. So we're really, we're really happy to have them back. And um, everyone will be doing everything they can to make sure they're in the team because they'll all want to show how good they are.